Welcome to the second session of Peerick with Old Black Part. And I'm Black Part, John Partner. Today's session is going to be on the scale, G, D, and E grace notes, and triplets. Now you say, the scale? I already know the scale. But in Peerick, two notes of the scale, the high G and the high A, are fingered differently. The high G is fingered like this, and the high A with a thumb off. Now in light music, your high G is this, and your high A is this. But in Peabrook, because there are some movements that I'm going to be introducing you to later on, this fingering for the high A and this fingering for the high G is is necessary because some of the movements are just almost impossible to do unless you're doing them with this finger. So again, this is your high G, this is your high A in fever. So let's do the scale with the proper fingering. <laughs> Now, the high G in particular on a, on a big pipe will go sharp. And so you may, if you're playing a P brick and using the correct fingering, you may need to put some tape on your, on your high G to, to keep that from going too sharp on you. Don't use this alternate high G in your light music because it will throw your tone off. This high A may throw your tone off, but it's only very, very slightly, if at all. So you, you can use them kind of interchangeably in your light music, but you're better off keeping the alternate high A fingering just for your P rip. So let's do the scale again with the correct fingerings for high G and high G and P rip. Well, now we have G, D, and E grace notes. Now, the tempo in Peabrook generally uh, is, is slower than you'll find a lot of tempos in the, um, in the light music. So, when you're making single grace notes, G, D, or E grace notes, make sure they're big and strong grace notes, not little chippy things. I want big, strong grace notes. So, in other words, you want to get into your head the concept that you're going to present your execution throughout the entire tune that you're playing in P-Rock. So, what I mean by big, strong grace notes, you're going to lift that finger off the channer. Not just barely, you're going to lift it and push it back down. So, if you're making G grace notes, I want that G finger off and back down firmly. Same with these. And E's. Big, strong grace notes. Let's do the scale. Up with G grace notes and back down. Use the correct fingerings for high G and high A. OK. 
Okay, the scale, as far up as you can go with D grace notes and back down, big, big grace notes. <laughs> Let's do that again. And now E grace notes, big, strong grace notes. Okay, so now we're going to wrap up this session with triplets. Triplets in Peabrook are G, D, E grace notes. And um, for this particular session, we're going to use the uh, triplet variation of the Peabrook, the company's Lament. The company's Lament can be found in the Peabrook Society Collection, Book One on page 34. So if you've got the Peabrook Society Collection or book one of the Peabrook Society Collection, dig it out because that's what we're using. If you don't have a copy of the of the tune, somebody that you know in a band will be able to get you a copy of the tune. But it's a good beginner tune and an actually uh, rather pleasant Peabrook as well. So. Let's start with the line one of the triplet variation of the company's lament. Big grace notes here as we go through this. Here we go. That's line one. Line one in this tune is repeated, so that makes this a secondary Peabrook, remember? Here we go. Line two. <laughs> Now you noticed I put in the proper fingering for high A. There's two high A's in this variation. And uh, as a judge, when I'm judging Peabrook, I'm always watching to see, even in the lower grades, if the pipers are doing the proper high G or high A. Uh, that usually tells me that uh, that pipers getting themselves prepared to go on to the more complex movements from those two notes. Anyway, keep in mind that you need to use the proper high A fingering. So, let's try this again. The whole triplet variation of the company's lament. Ready? Here we go. <laughs>
Now some people will say those are too open. No they're not. You notice how that tune kind of flows along and the execution is part of the overall melody of the tune. Now if you're playing the tune or trying to play the tune It kind of stalls on each of the melody notes and you, you kind of lose that flow. It's much better to have the open grace note work and let that tune just kind of flow along. Okay, there you have it. Session two, Peabrook with Old Black Part. <laughs>